Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Guthix Rest. This is Guthix Rest, episode number uh, five, I think. Yes, five. I am a guy named Spari. And I'm Birdfax. And today we have uh, Bingo to talk about, as well as uh, what's been going on with us this week. Uh, no game update, but we do have Game Jam stuff. Yes, those Brits have still been up to stuff. Over. Yeah, they've been... Uh, hard at work coming up with some cool ideas that, you know, might take a while for us to get, but uh, it's uh, where a lot of the really creative stuff comes from. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of weird stuff, but you got to make weird stuff to, to really ideate and see what people like, so. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what have you been up to this week? Well... After bingo ended, everybody joked about, oh, well, now that people are done no life in the game, everybody's going to quit. Nope, I've been playing the same amount, if not maybe even a little more. Um, Dude, it's wild. I was in, like, there was like 60 people in voice chat, and I was like, all right, I was there. screw you guys. I'm leaving. I'm going to go not play the game for a while. I went and made, like, a sandwich, and then I was like, man... I really want to play some more RuneScape right now. <laughs> I, I mean, because there's, there's kind of a difference, right? Sometimes you play the game like a shit ton for an event like that, and you already mm -hmm. weren't like super into the game. Like, uh, I know there were a couple people on our team that absolutely were just like, all right, the event's over. F*** this shit. I'm done with RuneScape for a bit. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, during the event, sometimes they were like, you guys want to play something else? Yeah. Shout out like, to no, T-Pay Scenarionics. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Just to be clear, um, but yeah, uh, I mean, if you're already like enjoying the game and then you start an event and you're just like having a good time during the event, after the event, you're probably still gonna want to play the game. Like, not nothing's gonna change, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, this year I have enjoyed RuneScape more than I have ever enjoyed this game. It's the podcast. You know, you're obligated to enjoy the game because if you stop enjoying the game, <laughs> you're not gonna be able to talk about anything. I'm just gonna have to take um, over solo. Oh god. I mean That'd be terrible. You know Me that would be for terrible. the whole two hours? It'd be awful. I mean apparently, you know, people like your voice more than mine, <laughs> so uh we had someone uh give some feedback and they're like, Oh, I love Birdfax's voice and I was like, What about my voice? Got that radio voice, voice, I guess. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't really know what that means, but cool. It's got that uh got that bass going. Yeah, I've been blessed with a a lower pitched voice and the uh the microphone that i've been graciously given by my friends is uh, a huge part of that <laughs> i would not sound nearly this good without it yeah you're using the same one as me right the blue snowball yes sir just a blue snowball nothing too special but it works yes, works well enough i got nothing wrong with it yeah it's a good entry level mic yep sounds fine uh, i'm sure there are mics mm -hmm. that sound better um and are more configurable and have less jank to them this one really only has jank because it's like used and i don't have any accessories for it but it's good enough i don't really care that much it sounds good and that's all i ask yeah there's a uh a three hundred dollar mic that i've been eyeing but uh they'll have to wait until uh i have a bit more money saved up Yeah, because you owe me like 500 money... right now yeah, I need to send that your way. <laughs> For uh, uh, while on that topic, there will probably not be an episode next week. I might be uploading the YouTube versions because I've just been absolutely grinding, um, so I haven't uh, done the YouTube edits. But there will probably not be. Uh, we will not record an episode well, next week, so there will probably still be content posted next week. Um, and by next week, I mean the first week of May. We are recording this mm -hmm. on the twenty seventh of what is this April? Um, yeah. So it, it really isn't that useful of an announcement, but there will probably be a, a break week next week, probably. Well, I was thinking maybe we can record uh, an episode like tomorrow, and then I can just try to bust out uh, <sighs> the edits this week before we leave. Yeah. I. But I mean, that leaves me literally three days to edit two episodes. Yeah, so I don't. Not I don't think happen. that's. I don't think that's worth it for you and i don't want to have to video edit another episode because then uh, that one have to you can just it. not do anything on i mean i could i guess i don't know we'll see 
Um, but we're not recording next week. Yeah. That's a hundred percent not happening. There won't be a, a regularly scheduled Thursday recording next week because mm-hmm. we'll be off in Canada. Um, but once we get back, things will be back to usual. Um, and we'll be talking about whatever's going on. Hell yeah! Speaking of things going on, what's going on with you? What's popping? What are you? What are you? What are you grinding out in RuneScape right now? What's 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 gaming? So, I've just been AFKing the big shark. Oh for- yeah like a week now um i fished 1500 sharks yesterday and i don't know how many sharks i've fished but i'm pretty sure i'm like over double the drop right now for the big shark sucks so yeah that's cool it's whatever it's really afk fishing xp um it's also cooking i think XP. at the end of the day yeah a little Easy bit of cooking xp cooking from XP doing the infernal harpoon and then uh people are gonna make fun of me for this but there's a a, a range pretty close to no the fishing way. spot <laughs> no so way you I'll, are doing that i have my cooking gauntlets on and oh i'll just walk God. over there cook them and then deposit them in the bank <sighs> Listen, and i have I'm, a fish barrel too so i'm, 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 I'm fishing man. i don't even do that <laughs> i wouldn't even think of doing that <laughs> it's it's a mindset that like I got when I was a really low level player. I would like when I was really newbie, I would like spin my own flax. Um I mean, and so like I've just continued with like weird things like, oh I'm gonna fish these fish and I might as well cook them while I have them in my inventory. I mean, I guess. It's it's not like extremely detrimental. <laughs> But that range isn't no. particularly, like, on the way to the bank. As a matter of fact, it is out of the way of the bank, isn't it? Um, I'm fishing on the southern one rather than the northern one. Um, so it's a little bit closer. But but it's not on I'm the way to the out bank. Of my... yeah. yeah, I'm still going out of my way, and I'm going to the worst of the two docks to do it. So, I mean, you do it's you. It's definitely but... impacting my XP yeah, rates. Yeah, it's a little little strange but you know you do you I'm, i do stupid shit too so when I, i'm not really one to talk yeah so i've just been doing that um the bingo i got a uh dupe big harpoon fish so uh that's how many permits have i pulled uh let me check that real quick tempros uh, in 426 pulls, I have two big harpoon fish, uh, the tackle box and the fish barrel. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's the same number of big harpoon fish as me. Do you actually have two? Yep, I also have two. Both still in my bank. That's, that is hilarious. I think I have, I guess I can check, I have like a thousand or so uh, pulls logged, uh, permits. Is it a yeah. boss? Yeah, it is a boss yeah it's considered i keep looking in the mini game area and it's not a mini game um i have yeah 1118 permits claimed and i have a uh, green log minus the pet and i didn't get the harpoon from the uh, mini game or boss boss i guess uh Dude, but the i have a one in 8k it's crazy yeah that's kind of insane i have i have two harpoon fish though uh in those 1118 uh, I really couldn't be happier with uh, what I pulled from Temporos. Getting uh, yeah. both the tackle box and the fish barrel, and then also getting the tome was like, cool. I can't ask for more. Awesome. Great. Mm-hmm. Man, I really wish that they would change the way... I might have already talked about this on the podcast before, but I, I really wish they would change the way that uh, mounting stuffed items in your house works. Because currently, if you mount them in your house and you want to change what you have on the wall... It just deletes yeah. the the stuffed item. It's just gone. And considering how rare the stuffed items are, you know, you should be able to swap it like you can with yeah. a, uh, a a display jar case display, for the jars. Yeah. I think yeah. they should make it so that similar to the jar display, you have to build like a base thing, like a little plaque on the wall, and then you can just mm-hmm. change out which thing you have displayed on the wall. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, it's not like a huge change. Most people don't even have that room built, but like, I don't know, kind of cool. Uh, some more bingo stuff, since we didn't really finish talking about that. Um, 
we ended up finally getting that malediction shard three after oh, yeah, another I forgot about that like 200 scorpia um we sent some more raids didn't get any dupes from any of the raids which kind of sucks um, yeah we did uh mostly cole uh cam and i did a lot a lot of chambers um i did a total of i can check my chambers casey i went up to 39 so we did just under 40 raids with me i know that they did a couple raids without me um that's dry from a, a or for yeah i don't you, you guys should have gotten more stuff right uh i think yeah i think we were a little dry um i know it's like I think you have like a 1% chance to receive a unique item per like 8,776 points or something. Some weird close number to that. That's too much math. Um, I'd have to check how many points I got. I have the, the chambers uh, tracker, so it shows me exactly how many personal points um, I got and exactly how many team points I've seen overall. Um, so I could calculate out like exactly how dry or not dry I am. Um, I think I was, I, I want to say I heard in the past that if you're doing like semi-scaled raids, it's like one in 13-ish for a purple. Um, I don't know how true that is. Um, that's just like a statistic that I remember. Um, okay, so you guys got, what, three purples, Dex, Arcane, and the uh, Ancestral Yeah, top? Ancestral Top, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, so you guys aren't that actually. No, dry, we weren't that but... dry. But the decks was literally the last item we got on the last raid. We sent the back to back, and we were just done. Yeah. Um, we were we were pretty dry on that last stretch there, and uh, the first purple we got. Um, I don't remember what Casey was on. I'd have to check the screenies, but um, I actually got my first purple ever, literally ever, with 150 chambers on the main. I never got a purple in my name. Um, and with yeah, the small was... amount, admittedly small amount of TOA, I've also never gotten a purple in my main, my name, but, um, I think that if you're on the thing there, probably Casey's probably in the screenshot. Yeah. I'm trying to find your, uh, your drop here. Uh, was it early on? Uh, it should be on the 20th. The 20th. Oh, okay. I was looking too high up. Uh, you got it. Uh, you don't have your KC shown. Yeah, it's whatever. Uh, I can go back and find it. Um, it's probably already on the screen for the YouTube edit that I will eventually do. But um, we proceeded uh, to immediately. Oh no, that's talk. Yeah, Cole's thing. is different than mine. But um, yeah, the it was probably I think it was somewhere around twenty. Um, but. It's my first purple ever. It's just an arcane prayer scroll. Pretty upset that it wasn't a dex because, you know, it's like the single biggest DPS upgrade in the entire video game for ranged. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy how good it is. But, uh, you know, the arcane, it still has its minor use cases and it's better than nothing at all. So, uh, yeah. I'll take it, I guess. Uh, I also got preserve while doing chambers. Um, so that's also a nice little upgrade. Uh, Sneezy reminded me that now that I have preserve, um, if I want to train to ninety agility on Arty, I can because it's actually pretty easy to boost to ninety and keep the boost with uh, preserve. So yeah, it's pretty nice. You just wear full prayer gear because weight doesn't matter, and you just send it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, then I, you know, got that arcane, and that was basically the extent of the cool stuff I got from Bingo was the Zenite early on that I talked about last week and yeah. the arcane. Because most of my time was yeah. spent not getting drops at Chambers. <laughs> yeah, most of my time was spent uh, also not getting drops. Except for when I needed an AFK and then I'd get the drop instantly. Yeah, that was stupid. Yeah. Multiple occasions uh, that occurred. Yeah, I did like 300 Vorkath as well during Bingo. and Didn't see anything, which is expected, but... Yeah, after we got a yeah. Vorkath unique, I think Trillo got one. I think he got the Visage. Yeah, he did. Um, yeah. He, we uh, we all started sending some Muspa as a Hail Mary to see if we could get the, the five God, Venator I hate shards. that boss. Dude, you suck. I love that boss. I I just don't have fun with it. I think it's really, really fun. Um, I think it's well designed and you can have fun with it. I just don't like engaging with any of the mechanics. I, I love the step back method. 
Um, it makes me feel like I'm such an insane RuneScape player, even though it's super easy. Um, it's it the the thing I like the most about the step back is. Um, which for those of you that don't know, by the way, uh, while the Phantom Muspa is in melee phase, um, he attacks every, I think he has a five tick attack ticks. speed. So basically, yeah. um, in order to prevent all damage, you can pray melee, um, and on the fourth tick, the tick where he's right about to attack, you can just step one step backwards because if the Phantom Muspa is moving while he is doing a melee attack, he can't deal damage to you. Um... So yeah, it's weird though the the way you know the animations and attacks and stuff in this game works. It looks like he moves and then he attacks. So it just it it just bothers me that that's how it works. But yeah, I like I can do it. The way I think about it, but... um, since I use Bofa, is basically I will uh once you get into cycle. Um, you shoot him like as, as immediately after you move backwards, and that would be on the same tick that he attacks you. And then, yeah, since it's uh, both his four tick attack speed, on the next game cycle where you would have shot, instead you want to make sure you move there, and then attack on that fifth tick. So technically, I'm losing ticks by attacking like that, but I don't really give a shit because it's really it makes it really easy for me to to time it. Yeah, yeah, that's basically how how I do it too. Yeah, uh. We finished up bingo. We got sixth place. You know, not the, the first place we were hoping for, but um, BS, man. I'll still take six of like what eighteen teams or something. Yeah, it was fine. I just it's it's discouraging. No, Twenty teams. It's never not going to be discouraging when like you see when we were at Chambers for like days and days on end, and you just yeah. see these teams that just get like spooned at Tebow, like their third Chambers the entire mm-hmm. fucking bingo it's like okay dude yeah Whatever, or you man. get teams that get back-to-back you know rings at toa and you're just like all right well love that that's easy like it's the nature of the game i can't be that mad about it but it's yeah. just it is a little disheartening um usually i just move on with my life but reflecting on it now it's just like man this game sucks i want a refund yeah it's the rng um apparently the prize pool was uh 758 million gp by the way yeah i actually stole all so, of it straight in my pocket uh it was more than I was thinking. Uh, I know that uh, I don't remember which of them it was, um, but uh, one of the two guys from XP Waste, because XP Waste uh, like pitched in a bit of uh, prize money. Um, he bought bonds to no. sell for <laughs> GP, um, and he actually yeah. bought RS3 bonds. Yeah, he um, did. Which I thought I was think really he funny. He ended up using a service to swap. That was that was very amusing. At the at the end of the bingo, we were all just in this like really big voice chat where there, there was like sixty to eighty people in one voice call, mm-hmm. and we were all just chatting about how bingo was over. But it was fun. It was a good time. Uh, as we discussed yeah. last week, there were there were definitely some issues, but you know, it's it was fun. That's all. It, it was running pretty smooth by the end. Yeah. Um, um, and I think you know, as and... long as they as long as they take the lessons they learned from running this one into the next one, I'm sure the next one will be even better. So. Mm-hmm. yeah and, and post bingo you know all i've been doing now is just fishing and every once in a while i've been sending like one or two toas in the hopes of uh seeing a juicy purple yeah i haven't seen one yet after bingo for me uh step one was train two crafting levels step two was buy an onyx step three was use zenite uh to make ring of suffering uh, oh, step yeah. four was imbue it at nightmare zone so i had to spend like a couple hours in nightmare zone but i don't really mind that anymore it's super afk i use there's like a if you go on uh no monkeys youtube channel he has a guide where there's like a there's like a, a mixed afk ish method um that gives you like i think i got like six hundred thousand points an hour it's it's I like I, nice. I was done with that imbue within an hour it was fine and of course, you know, also insane melee's XP. So, um, mm-hmm. it was good. Um, and then once I was done with that, uh, I've hopped on back onto the RuneCraft grind because I am just full sending ninety nine. That is why I have not edited <laughs> the last two episodes of the podcast uh, to video form. Uh, That's fine. The videos are a bonus. Yeah. Um, I'll be sure to have those up eventually. I don't know if I'm going to finish them <laughs> before we go to Canada. And if I don't, I might uh, grab my laptop 
and see if I can. I know that thing can can run DaVinci. I just don't know if it'll run it well enough that I won't suffer while trying to edit them um, in some of my free time. But yeah, um, yeah. I have well, I've been full sending ninety nine. I just before the podcast hit uh, ninety seven, and I am looking yeah. to hopefully finish off the ninety nine by Sunday evening. So. Anything else happen with uh, your room crafting? <laughs> I, you know, I almost forgot to talk about it. Um, at about, I want to say, 8 or 9 mil XP, um, I got my third skilling pet on this account, um, which is such an extraordinary difference to my main. Uh, I got the Rift Guardian. Mm-hmm. I was very, very happy to and see the, the little guy. Um, I just happened to look in the drops and achievements chat and saw that, and I was like, oh. I'm not going to say that I saw that, but <laughs> <laughs> you were going through this section and not mentioning you got a pet. Yeah, so I was like, oh, I, I should I maybe. I forgot about it. Uh, he's literally, <laughs> I'm, I'm mining some extra day out because I don't quite have enough for 99 right now. So I'm just mining a little mm-hmm. more. I'll probably just send some like Guardians of the Rift. Or I might even, don't tell anyone, but I might do like combo rune crafting uh, to get oh, the last God. of the XP. I kind of want to do mud uh, runes. Because mud runes are super helpful for being on lunars in chambers. Um, yeah, I might just do those. They're yeah, still like a hundred thousand uh, XP an hour at optimal rates, so I might do that. <laughs> so during one of the chambers, I had muds in my in my uh, my rune pouch, but I didn't have that many, and I didn't really realize how many muds you yeah, go you through. You shred them. <laughs> So before we got to Ulm, I ran out of muds. Yeah, you and absolutely so I was like, annihilate oh, them, huh? And I didn't say anything. I just put my my rune pouch in my uh, storage, <laughs> and I did the did the kill without uh, Venge or anything. Yeah, you absolutely shred those things. By the way, uh, Venge isn't. I think I told you, but Venge isn't worth using until head phase uh, at Ulm. Yeah, yeah. I uh, and even I still, also it's learned not how the uh, the flame wall how to actually douse that for people. Ah, yes, you click on it. Yeah, you just click on it. I was like clicking on the. Um, oh, were you clicking humidify and then clicking? Yeah, I was yep. clicking I humidify. Used to do that. I got um, and I was like, why isn't this doing? I think right? I was. It was back when caveman used to stream. Uh, that was what I always used to do. Um, and I think I was streaming in Discord, and someone noticed that I was doing that. And after the raid, they were like, <laughs> "Yeah, you can just click on the firewall." And I was like, yeah. Huh. So. Yeah, you, you don't have to do that at all. Yeah. Uh, Apparently you used to, like uh, early early on, um, you had to do that. Mm, okay. But not anymore. Yeah, as long as you just have anything that could douse it, ice spells, humidify, water spells, if you click A on it, A watering can. watering can, apparently. A gourd filled with water. Do vials of water count? Probably, but maybe not. I don't know. Interesting. I don't know. Um, yeah, so congrats on the pet again. Yep, it's super cool. Um, uh, I have three ninety nines on my main and no pets, uh, no skilling pets at all. And I have zero ninety nines on this account and three skilling pets. Super awesome. Super cool. RNG <laughs> game. Yeah, so I was wondering, what color do you have your Rift Guardian set to right now? Uh, I think I just still have them just going RGB gamer mode. Um, as of this current instant, Wait, they change colors. Yeah, uh, he changes colors. Um, cool. when you when you craft at a rune crafting altar, he changes to match the altar you're at. I had no idea that was a thing. I assumed it was like rocky. Nope, or not rocky. The rock golem. Yeah, he changes depending on the runes you craft. Um, so if you do it at ZMI, he just changes randomly. So I just have him on RGB gamer mode interesting uh, every- oh are you gonna get the guardian's eye for him uh yeah i will um even okay. after i hit 99 i'm probably gonna still do guardians of rift uh i want to both i want to green log it and um mm-hmm. i just think it's kind of fun uh it's it's a fun yeah. mini game and i have we have quite a few friends that actually really enjoy doing it um so i'm probably not gonna yeah, stop it's like doing the it. only piece of content that i ever see rhiannon doing <laughs> she does a lot of questions guardians of the rift uh, she completed yeah it's it's either questing or guardians of the rift as I never far as i can tell that's, anything else. that's about all she does right now uh yeah i'm proud of her yeah no uh i know her membership's gonna lapse in like a week um and she said she's mm. probably not gonna renew because tears of the kingdom's coming out and she's probably gonna get addicted to that for a while so 
Gotcha, gotcha. But I honestly don't doubt that she might actually come back and play more because she seems pretty. She seems like she's having funny. fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, Not what I thought would happen, honestly. Um, no, because her boy. She started playing because her boyfriend uh, used to play RuneScape like we did uh, back in mm-hmm. the day, and so he started playing again, and he got bored of it and quit. But uh, Rhiannon did not get bored of it and has not quit, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. I didn't know that he was still playing, honestly. No, yeah, he he was playing up until a couple weeks ago when his membership lapsed, and he just he he quit. He's done. Wild. Well, I I hope she does come back because uh, you know, eventually we need some uh gamers for raids. <laughs> I don't know if we'll we'll manage to get her that far, but. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm still... Julian and <laughs> Malachi are pretty close. I I'm still struggling to believe that we'll manage to get them in. I I don't know if Julian's listening. I was um probably not. Yeah, probably not. But um I was doing uh Will the Altar. Um mm-hmm. and you know I used to not be a big proponent of menu entry swapper. I thought it was cheating. At this point I've given yeah, up, I've give given up on that, that opinion. It, it's it should I think it should be a default feature of the game and I think eventually it will be as they continue to develop mm-hmm. the C plus client. Um, there's just so many things that you want to be able to left click. Yeah. That is just a right click for no reason. Yeah, it's it's like dumb. harpooning at fishing spots. When was the last time you used a net? <laughs> yeah. Or, or or a cage. That's like early level stuff. Yeah. And for the, most of your fishing XP, you're harpooning. The customizability of menu entry swappers is also like really other nice. Fishing. Um, the fact that mm-hmm. anyone can customize anything to be, you know, this, you can left click it or, re- or shift click it to whatever you want. Yeah. I'm, I really like the shift click options. I don't like changing mm-hmm. my default left click options very often, but I do quite, oh, I, do it fre- so much. <laughs> I do quite frequently change the shift click options on things, um, to, f- to my more frequently used functions. That's not to say I don't ever change left click functions. Um, yeah. But it's it's not as common for me because uh, I do a lot of uh, mobile gaming, um, not like a lot, a lot of mobile gaming, but I do a fair amount. And there's no menu entry swapper there, so sometimes I'll I'll hop on there. And if I have too many of my left click functions changed, I'll go and uh, tap on something, and it'll do something that I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? Yeah, mobile is kind of unplayable for me just because I'm so used to having all these plugins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i'm kind of bad i'm pretty vanilla um i like to keep my my plugins to a minimum but anything that adds a, a nice quality of life you know I'll, I'll throw it on but there's a lot of stuff that i i refuse to use because i think it it takes it a little too far for me most of them mm-hmm. i'm fine with other people using it it seems fair i just personally think that i don't like having x thing on the screen like i don't have yeah, that's uh fair. I don't have Akka change his floor tile colors based on what style he's on, because I just think that's dumb. <laughs> just look at his prayer. Yeah, I... This is going to sound r- r- really bad. I have, uh, for specifically TOA, I have Akka change his colors depending on the style. Uh, all the baboons in the oh my God. Uh, Baba puzzle are colored They're to the literally style literally already use. colored, my man. Yeah, but they're not like neon highlighted. I uh oh, I need to go in uh cuz right now I have their hole um highlighted, but the um the entity uh the entity uh marker plugin has been improved, so now you can outline them and it's a way better outline. Um and you can color them. So, I need to go in and change that. I will say cuz I was using a I was using a different plugin before for it. There are a couple of things that I have started doing in TBA. Like I used to not have Akka marked, uh, but now that I do, now that I learned to do Butterfly, it's it's impossible to not have him marked. I need to have mm-hmm. him marked to know where his true tile is because it's extraordinarily helpful information. Yeah. Like I used to not keep true tile for myself on, but I've started doing all these like crazy strategies that I find very very interesting. That it's just it's I need to know where my true tile is at all times. It's very important information to have. Um, like right now, I'm on which I think I've already sung the praises of this uh, settings profiles on Runelight, 
Super great feature. Yeah. I'm on like my I need to a- actually start using them. I'm on my AFK skilling profile that I have, and I don't have like true tile or any of those stuff. So it reduces like the screen clutter, which is super nice. I love being able to just turn that off and then return to my default profile whenever I'm doing like my normal stuff. Um, yeah, I'll like mess around and like turn on stretched mode and stuff and move things around when I'm skilling, and I need to really just set up the profiles. Yeah. It's very, very helpful. Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, I was gonna say the the one thing that I I really want to I need to go back and mark is uh, the waves at Zabak because oh yeah oh my god I my recently Zabak learned is just filled with stuff I recently learned about wave skipping. Mm. Do you know how wave skipping it... works at Zabak? Yeah, you can run over the waves, but you have to. So what you have to do is when their true tile is right next to you. You have to step one tile, like you have to walk one tile in the direction that they're moving. So you have to move with them, and yeah, then so you can running. then you can run through them. Yeah, um, super. But interesting. why would you do that when you could just move? Because it's a the flex. Gap. It's so I mean, cool. It it's useful if you have a leveled up Zabak. It's useful if you have a leveled up Zabak, if you, especially if you're also using upset stomach, um, and you yeah. just can't clear a lot of the poison tiles. And the the gap is just so small in the waves, and you're just like, man, fuck this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wave skip. Mm-hmm. And realistically, the reason I want to learn it is because I want to just do it all three wave sets in a row, just to piss you off. Even when they're like super easy, I'll like I mean, intentionally not go to them. I was gonna say it wouldn't piss me off, but it would because I'd be like, why the fuck are you bothering with that? Just <laughs> I, go to I the know gap. That's, we have a three that, wide gap that amuses me so much that I want to do it, <laughs> and then I'll fucking I like trying, plank trying to do it, and it'll be hilarious. Yeah, I was trying some three fifties, and I had a uh, Zabak leveled up, and I'm not used to him shooting fast with uh, the like the smaller gaps. It really messed with me. Um. Yeah, maybe if I knew wave skip, it would have helped me there or something. Yeah, I mean, I just I just like cool tech like that, you know. Um, yeah. I learned butterfly not because I wanted to use it necessarily, but just because I think it's cool. Like I I I very much enjoy learning these like weird, complicated techs at bosses because it's what makes the game fun to me. I like abusing the game, and I'm not very good at it yet. There's a lot of stuff I need to learn, and I like that. I like learning new things. It's cool. My favorite bit of tech is tech that lets me be lazier. So you like cocoon so... tech. <laughs> I want to know how they did that. I <laughs> want to know. I probably will have it up on screen uh, for the video version. but Yeah, you'll it's... just pause it and then play the video. It's some weird stuff. They like stand yeah. underneath the boss... And then, like, as he's about to attack, he, like, walks to a specific different tile under Akka. He gets hit, like, a 45 because he's off prayer, which I don't know if that well, matters or not. No, no, no. The reason he... That's not what causes Cocoon Tech. They already had that set up. Um, they literally just had just the... walked into the room. Yeah, I don't know what they do to set it up, though. It's set up, like... It, you see, he walks into the room and then he runs south i he, think he drags and the boss doesn't walk towards him doesn't he like i think he like drags akka oh. over first and then because he has to drag he drags it all the way to the the entry area of the room here we can watch it real quick it's in petscape um i'll grab the link and send it to you So I'm opening up the link now. God, I fucking hate Twitter videos. What if it played like the first half second in Discord embed and then just stopped? Yeah, so he just walks in, runs south, and the boss walks towards the rest, starts meleeing them. Oh, I don't think he's the first one in the room. No, he, no is. he is. And then he switches targets for some reason. Why does he switch targets? And then he runs underneath. But him and then going, he moves. yeah, him going to the north doesn't set up the thing, though. I don't think. Well, after he, it might just be coincidental, but after he does that movement and then he moves back on, on, under, that's when Akka stops attacking completely. 
So maybe, that uh, might have something to do with it. Because, yeah, he's just he just completely stops after that. And when they start attacking shadows, um, he Kirby... Oh, Kirby's... he explains in the comments. Oh, does he? Uh, in a seven or eight man, there's a bug where two or three people in the team cannot keep aggro at the start. We call them cursed. If they get aggro stolen at the start, then they stand on center tile. This happens. Huh. So yeah, you you, you can only do it in big raids. Interesting. So yeah, you. Wow. You're cursed as, until the server resets. Every uh every game update. Wacky. <laughs> it, it's it's so interesting the the ways that this game just breaks down for such strange um, stuff. <laughs> yeah, but the the lazy tech that I wanted to talk about was uh Baba's still bugged where uh ranging her uh during boulder phase doesn't end boulder phase even though you're behind where she's throwing them. Yeah, the day after so, when they said they fixed it, I went into a raid. I it might have been with Archlon or it might have been with someone else. I don't remember. But I went into a you raid. You told me it was with Archlon. Yeah, I, that's what I'm, I'm saying now. Though I'm not, I'm not sure it, it was. Uh, now that I think about it again. Okay. But, um, but yeah, I uh, I went into a raid with uh, partially my intention was to figure out if they had actually fixed it, and it worked. Like I I made sure to I st- stood all the way over on a wall with the sarcophaguses at the top of the room and shot Baba, and she stopped doing boulders, and. Yep, now you're well, telling me it doesn't work again, which I believe. It doesn't work again. Uh, yeah. And that's weird. That's so weird. <laughs> like, two days ago, I went in, and during boulder phase, you know, she's at 66%, and I just start ranging her with Bofa. By the end of boulder phase, she's at, like, 40%. And I just go into another boulder phase, like, right afterwards. I'm sure in, like, a large enough team, people could just straight up uh, go from one boulder phase to the next. I wonder what happens if you if you go under that threshold. Yeah, I don't know. Is Baba weak to Tebow? I mean, what's her magic level? <laughs> I'm finding that out. Uh it's only a hundred. Yeah, probably not. With two eighty magic defense. So both is probably your best bet. But maybe we'll send like a, a one fifty or something later, Bird, and we can test that out. Because I think that'd be really funny. Yeah, I mean, I remember um, in uh, near when Tombs of Mask came out, Jimmy was making those those funny man videos about them and a bunch of people doing uh, Baba. And I think I remember they would just, like, one guy would run boulders and the rest of them would just, like, sit back and shoot with Bofa. And I was like, why are they doing that? Uh, and then they'd also just camp Bofa the whole time. They wouldn't switch to melee even when boulders stopped happening. And I was like, okay. I... They just didn't know what was going yeah, on they just, back then. They just didn't know. I, I, I realized that much, yeah. but I was just like, weird, but okay. Yeah. Oh, God. this was, We just got on a really long tangent. I don't even remember what, what we were we talking do. about before. Um, mm-hmm. Just, I, I was talking about, uh, it, was, it was a long chain. We were talking about plugins. And... I think I was originally talking about your you getting your pet, and then we rambled on from there. Yeah, because I think uh, I don't know. I want to say that we transitioned topics between the pet. It, we were talking about pets, and then we were talking about plugins because of uh, menu entry swapper. Oh yeah. And then we were talking about tagging things, and then we started talking about like tech and. That's the whole point of the raids. podcast, though. If you, yeah. If you haven't figured that out by now. I mean, come on. That's what we do here: is we tangent into other topics. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty common theme with uh, RuneScape podcasts. It's because there's no so many epic things to talk about. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot to talk about this week. Like, I'd be like, "Oh, wh- what's the game update this week?" There, there literally is none. There is so there I is can... a poll running right now. Probably not right now by the time oh, this is out, yeah. but uh, it's just the bounty hunter poll. Um, yeah, I guess we could talk about like how you voted for that. Uh, I think I voted yes to almost everything. There were a couple questions I skipped. I can check, but I voted. Yeah, here. <laughs> the only thing I intentionally voted no on was the uh, Nezi Helm ornament kit. <laughs> Wait, why? 
because, um, I don't know. Q, get a jaw. Oh, wait. They, they didn't show what the Nezzy helm looks like, though. Yeah, I don't care. Get a jaw. That's the ornament kit. Oh. Okay. Uh, just just me being dumb. I don't actually care that much. I just, every once in a while I'll see a question and I'll be like, it'd be kind of funny if I voted yeah, no. For, for all of the different imbues and different weapons, I just skipped because I don't care. I think I skipped uh, on the... I might have skipped on like the 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 corrupted armor or like just the armor and the, the weapons in general because I don't really understand mm-hmm. their complete impact. I do un- have a decent understanding of the imbues impact, and I think those ones are fine. So I voted yes to those. Yeah. Um, they did specify in the the poll blog one thing that I think is uh, a little bit important that hadn't been uh, talked about yet. Uh, the ancient warriors' equipment. Uh, there are uh, untradeable pieces of armor that can be purchased using bounty hunter points. They'll be usable within bounty hunter only, and each piece requires charging with 5 million GP to be made usable. Um, and upon death, the GP is lost to whoever kills you, leaving you with the uncharged item. Um, yeah. So basically, it's a guaranteed 5 mil risk. Um, yeah, that's how I think Festa's worked in RS2. Sure, I believe it. Um, and then the corrupt versions are the same way, uh, requiring a 1.5 mil uh, GP charge. And then the weapons are also similar. Once again, all of this is only usable within the Bounty Hunter Craters, where the mini gameplay takes place. The weapons require a 50 mil GP uh, in view to become available. So, mm. very expensive. Um, yeah. But that's kind of how PvP is. <laughs> a lot of it is risking absurd amounts of money yeah, i mean th- these are going to be very powerful yes. so it's probably good that they have some risk associated with them yep seems fine to me um it's all yeah. it's all contained within the bounty hunter crater which i think is a great idea i'm glad that they they yep. moved it to that um so it doesn't affect the 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 rest of like the wilderness at large um like the void waker has <laughs> um yeah void waker's nuts it's <sighs> I I can't pass great a judgment on it because I feel I can't speak too greatly at the balance of PvP, but in my opinion, it seems maybe a little too powerful. <laughs> yeah, because like before, if you were low on hit points and worried about a spec, you just pray melee, because mage and range specs tend not to be very good. But now there's a mage spec that's you can camp your melee gear. And you just put on the Void yeah, Waker and you have a huge I think, mage hit. I think the problem I have with it is the Void Waker is, like, not a terrible weapon in it of itself. So you can, like, withdraw yeah, Void it's like Waker. A scimitar, isn't it? Yeah. Decent. But you can still hit up to, like, 50s. So you yeah, can pull out the true. Void Waker and then your enemy will start praying mage. And if you get lucky, you can just be like, well, I just hit you 50 anyways. Fuck you. Yeah, it's it's pretty uh, wild. Um, I think it's cool that you can do that. That it's like kind of counterplay. It's like, all right, I'm gonna get out the Void Waker, and my opponent is gonna pray Mage. What if I just hit him instead? Like it's kind of cool, but I think it might be a little bit powerful. But like I said, yeah, I'm not super strong. super in tune with that portion of this game's balance. So I don't know. It's cool in PVM though. That I can yeah. say. Very cool. Very yeah, interesting. There, there's some neat things you can do in uh, like TOA or uh, Nightmare with it. Yeah. Very, very good addition to your arsenal in PVM. Um, some of the other things that were in the poll, I... I voted no to voted, negative experience. Yeah, I voted no to negative experience. I voted yes to being able to get experience. Yeah, that's fine. It's, wanted. it's just like, you know, going to pest control kind of thing. Whatever. Yeah. Voted yes um, to the, the dragon cosmetics. Looks cool. Looks neat. Yeah, I voted yes to all the cosmetics. I just um, voted no to the Nezzy one because I just felt like being an asshole for no reason. Probably still will pass. You, Why would anyone else vote no to that? <laughs> I voted for adding to the old Bounty Hunter high scores. I voted for a new Bounty Hunter Crater. I think it's mm. cool to look on people's high scores and see that they were around uh, when old Bounty Hunter was a thing. 
I don't know. It just feels weird to have like a high score that like you can no longer add to. Um, I don't think there's any other high score that really works that way. Not really, but uh, besides well, like leagues. That, I mean, it's already been that way for years. So yeah. Um, I feel like at this point, um, they've already been unattainable high scores for years and years on end. Um, I think it's kind of cool to just have them around as a relic. I don't really care that much if it goes back onto the old ones. Whatever, that's fine. Uh, but I just think when I when I look at people's accounts and I see that they have like really high bounty hunter scores, sometimes I'm like, oh wow, that's kind of neat. They did bounty hunter. It's whatever. Yeah, it's doesn't fair. really matter. I don't really care either way. Yeah, I'm just sad. Uh, they are reintroducing the uh, Elder Chaos Robe, Heavy Ballista, and Elder Maul ornament kits. Uh, the yes. Bandos or- armor ornament kits and the Armadil armor ornament kits are not making a return. I wouldn't have wanted them to Dude, come from this mini game, so anyways. Sick. I yeah, they look really really cool. I want them to come back somewhere. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I-, I would prefer personally for it to be not PvP based because I am terrible at PvP. I would mm-hmm. learn PvP to get them. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I already plan absolutely. on someday going to LMS to get some of the cosmetic rewards from LMS, even though I suck. Um, but, uh, yeah, I want to see, I, th- I, I didn't like the Armadil helmet change, but I remember the Armadil chest piece and bottom. I, I really liked the way those looked with the ornament kits. Uh, but I have, I have a unique attachment to the, the Armadil helm, um, cause it's a bird. I really like it. I just wish they'd fix the female model. It looks so bad. <laughs> yeah, I... I kind of wish most armor didn't have like a weird, uh, a weird version of it that just looked bad. Yeah. Uh, for female models for no reason. They like completely changed some of the armor and it's not for the better. <laughs> like Mystics just looks terrible. I on just females. genuinely don't understand why the Armadale helmet looks so different on female. It's just like a normal, like yeah. helmet. That doesn't look special at all and looks kind of bad. Whereas on the male model, it looks like a bird and it's kind of cool. It's like it's got a little beak. Yeah. Why does it not have a beak on the female one? Female birds still have beaks. (laughs) It it has a beak. It's just really tiny and it doesn't fully encompass your head. Female birds are generally bigger. Yeah, I don't know. Like I, I doubt. I doubt whoever modeled it, that back in the day knew that. It goes from a full that, helm to a just, med helm. Yeah, it's so weird. That and is, I just don't know why. Yeah, it, it's so odd. Never made sense uh, to me. Yeah. But yeah, uh, that's that's what's going on this current second in the game. Um, do we want to talk about uh, the new skill refinement kickoff right now? Um, and then talk do about. Do we need to? Uh, I mean. If we don't, if you don't want to, that's fine. I mean, I mean, there's not really much to talk about. We're just. Yeah. Gonna... Did you take the Did you take the survey? I have not yet. You should. should I, do that. I was probably going to after we were done recording. Yep. Um. There's some, in like the first couple pages of the survey, there's a couple questions where it's like, it specifically references doing Slayer tasks uh, out at sea. mm Hmm. And I just don't like that. <laughs> I'd be fine with doing it, don't get me wrong. But the fact that it's in the survey multiple times and the, it, it feels like they're really trying to like, do you guys, do you guys want this? Do you, should, we put it, should we put it in the game? It's like, yeah. But... I'm doing Slayer at sea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it, it feels kind of like a nothing burger to me. Um, it feels like it doesn't really have much to add to sailing as a skill. Or Slayer as a skill. I mean, I'd be fine with like being able to do like a Slayer task and like you get a Trolls task and you can go do yeah. Sea Trolls. Yeah, exactly. Like, you can already do Sea Trolls, but like maybe there's an island that you can go sail to and you get like a special yeah. variant. Maybe of there's them. like you know there's there's how we have like the the multi zones for like Dust Devils that are Slayer only kind of areas. Maybe there's new like Slayer only areas that you have to sail out to sea to get to specific Slayer only areas for certain yeah, I'd monsters. Be fine with stuff like I'm fine that. with that. But just it felt kind of odd the way they asked about it multiple times in multiple different questions. I was just like, I mean, yeah, that's well, fine, but yeah. So because they didn't they didn't specifically like reference surveys... any other skill. Mm. No well, other skill. I think 
I think they're worried about Slayer specifically because changing up the Slayer meta too much can really uh, rustle some jimmies, you know? People don't like their Slayer being touched in uh, ways that might be uh, disruptive. Oh no, the skill might become good. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I have I have strong feelings about Slayer, uh, but that's you know that's that's a topic for another time. Um, yeah, basically this blog post is just about uh, it outlines the way they plan to refine uh, sailing over the course of the next few months. Here, uh, they'll just be you know they sail they're they're going to do a core system and gameplay loops uh, section in mid May, late May they're doing a navigation and map C scale. Don't mind that car in the background. Love that. Um, mid June there's going to be uh, talks about the reward space, and then late June game integration and lore. Um, so basically they're just going to be talking to the community over the course of those times to get specific feedback about those portions of the skill. So if you're in the Discord, watch out for them asking questions about that, and feel free to give your feedback. Just make sure that your opinions yeah. are informed, please. Uh, the speaking of the Discord, the Discord is looking for more, um, more. What what do they refer to them as? Uh, general contributors. So like, uh, players that are like specifically recruited on to to give feedback and be part of the discussion, uh, more intimately. Um, they are adding a hundred more. Wow. So, but I think now it's a great time to go to break. Yeah, sure. Uh, Sounds good. So we have uh, some sponsors. Uh, today's episode is sponsored by the Fishing Guild. You can come here and for some reason be better at fishing. Uh, you can head out onto Kylie Minnow's fishing platform and fish some minnows and get a bunch of sharks. You won't ever get the big shark, though. <laughs> this episode is also sponsored by the uh, Zamorakian Mages Institute. Uh, feel free to come on down here if you hate getting all of the same rune and you want random runes. But don't worry, you get extra XP. And that's what you all like, right? Come on down. Get some extra XP. You know you want that. Welcome back from the break, everybody. Welcome back. You uh, went and uh, grabbed a drink or something and didn't listen to the non-existent Ow. ads. What the f*** did you do? Slam my leg against my desk. Slam my penis in the car door. <laughs> yeah, I hope that you went and grabbed a, a drink in the, like, five seconds that you put in between the break. <laughs> it's like, yeah, wow, man. what a great it's break. Great. <laughs> it's really important, you know? You know, right now it's more of a symbolic thing to say, hey, we're transitioning from one topic to another. But, uh... Yeah, I I, I, future, I have kind know. of questioned the, the importance of the... I mean, the, the break is, like, more just for us because we like to record it in two segments. Mm -hmm. But I, I have always found it interesting that we're like, all right, we're going to break. And then, <laughs> and then you, you put, like, five seconds of music in the recording. <laughs> and then we're just back. We're just like, hey guys. Yeah, and then we're just back. Welcome back. From hey, the break. what's up? <laughs> I know it's been so long since you've heard from us, but yeah, I'm, well, so like in the future, if we ever you know keep doing this and we get um like actual ads, that's where they'll go. Right, but and if surely like... they can't take that long. Um, they can take quite a while, like on. My on I guess, Pocket I guess, Cast. yeah, I don't really watch podcasts or listen to podcasts that often, so I don't really... Well, yeah, some, some of them are more egregious than others. I guess, like, Pocket Cast, sometimes I'll get, like, a minute and a half worth of ads that are auto-generated from, like, the, the podcast feed, which is really annoying. Yeah, and I guess now but, that I'm thinking about it, uh, Wan Show just started doing, like, a, a pretty long ad section now, because uh, they, have, they have Dennis... Uh, I don't know. I doubt you watch Wan Show, but they every have, once in a while I do. They have Dennis doing the ad segments now. So apparently, Dan, their producer, has like on his his deck, he has to press like a bunch of buttons to bring up like graphics that Dennis has made as Linus is talking. 
And so it's, it, they're they're really good ads. Like they're well produced. It, it's made me start watching them similarly to how on Critical Role, like I actually listen and watch the ad spots because Sam Regal is such a fucking legend, and he just makes them funny all the time. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I guess the ads can be long. That's true. Never mind. I've experienced yeah. long ads for podcasts. Yeah, exactly. Um. We we are getting somewhat close to getting uh ad reads from uh Anchor. So you know, maybe maybe they'll uh be sooner than expected. Sure. Anyways, game jam. Yes. Those it's motherfuckers not something over in Britain. you put on your toast. <laughs> uh yeah, the, the UK lads have been hard at work uh, coming up with some cool ideas. Um, if you open up the broadcasting chat, I think we'll I just have, go from... I already clicked all of them open. Just tell me which side we're starting at. We're going to start from the very top, but we're going to skip the first one. Okay. For reference, the first one, as far as I'm able to tell, is just Partner Slayer. It's maybe coming back. Yeah, well, there, there's more posts on that later. Okay, cool. I understand why you're skipping that now. I'm closing yeah. this tab now. Okay, cool. Uh, so the first one is Mod Sarney's. Uh, <laughs> I saw this free to play boss. <laughs> He's working with some other J mods on this. He doesn't at them, so I don't know which ones. But it is a free to play boss that teaches the core mechanics like movement, gear, and prayer swapping. Uh, and it is a picture of three rats, a mage rat with a little wizard hat, a, uh, melee rat with a, with a, uh, rapier, I'm gonna be honest, I and then a ranged rat rapier. with a cannon top. I just, <laughs> yeah. when I was looking at this image for the first time, I didn't even notice that. The ranged rat is definitely yeah, the best one. It's really funny. Yeah, I don't know. And they're also just colored. Yeah, um, they're blue, red, and green. Free to play yeah, bosses might... in the past, Obor and Bryophyta were somewhat of nothing burgers as far as like free to play content went. Yeah, it was, it was it was you know it was a welcome addition, and then there was also Beneath Ice Mountain that was also a welcome addition, but it was definitely mm-hmm. nothing crazy. This will probably be kind of the same thing. It won't be anything insane, well, but I'm sure it'll be kind of a cool addition. Uh, Camdozel was the best free to play method. For 24 hours, and then it was nerfed into the ground. Well, yeah. We can't have free-to-play players doing something cool and good, because they're not paying any money. Uh, this might end up being like that, uh, uh, wilderness rat boss idea that was shown off from, uh... I mean, the only similarity... Well, okay, never mind. Yeah, the the only... That one was supposed to be like a roaming boss, which I hate, by the way. Not a fan of roaming, but wilderness boss idea. Um, like it's kind of neat in concept to think about, but it just sounds annoying. Like I'm just running around in the wilderness trying to do literally anything else, and he just like pulls up, and I'm like, "Wow, this is cool." And like then you get to the point where if you want to fight that boss, you have to like go hunt it down. It just sounds a little frustrating, in my opinion. I'm not a big fan That's of the fair. idea of a roaming boss. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I think the, the, the original wilderness rat boss was also like, yeah, it's supposed to teach you about like gear swapping and stuff and like changing attack yeah, styles so based on protection prayers or whatever. I think this will be the same idea, just toned down and for free to play and obviously in like Varrock sewers or something and not the deep wilderness. Cool. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Uh, kind of fun. If you see what Mod Skylark posted, and you also scroll down, uh, Mod Other posted something as well, uh, Mod Hen as well, uh, and then uh, Mod Hen at the very bottom, I just posted another thing from them. They all are posting the same idea. Just the capybaras? Yeah, the capybaras. Um, so... The idea all extends from what uh, Mod Other posted. Um, this is a hunter rework. 
or not rework, but uh, expansion uh, that would focus on tracking creatures and cap uh, learning their behaviors to capture them for a hunt master. And one of the potential rewards is a, a new pet, and they have a little capybara. It's absolutely adorable, and it has an orange on its head. It's a reference to a meme. Absolutely adorable. I love it. I'll admit, I'm, you know, I'm bird facts. I'm not a huge capybara fan. Uh, but they're, they're, they're cool. They're cool creatures. And uh, I've always felt that Hunter, while having a very diverse amount of training methods, doesn't have very many good training methods. So I'd love to see both an expansion and a rework, honestly. <laughs> because yeah. some of the methods are just terrible. And there's so many different methods. Um, so I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'll, another I think this could another cool. hunter pet, though, is kind of wild. <laughs> I'm going to yeah, be honest. Yeah, it has... We have the Chinchampa pet, and then we have the... Uh, the Herbie pet. The Herbie pet. It is the but only... I mean, RuneCrafting has two pets now. Well, here's... Uh, by that extension, also, fishing does. But I don't quite mm -hmm. count that, because those are like mini games slash bosses that are like That's... attached to the skill but outside of the skill so a lot of people don't count those as skilling pets for some reason i still kind of do but there is like an actual somewhat distinction there whereas yeah, Irby the and Chin are... are just from training the skill well but they're not like the the fishing the wood cutting and the rune crafting pets where you can do any activity that for those and you can get the pet true but um, what other activities do people do for hunter other than birdhouses herby and chins uh some people do the uh maniacal monkey tails okay well you can get a billion dollars as a pet from there not even a billion dollars you can just get the monkey tail it's like money yeah it's the equivalent of a pet it's yeah um I don't know. I'm fine with yeah, this. Yeah, it's definitely different. It, 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 Hunter is like I'm a not, very I don't obvious have place to add pets. Yeah, so. I don't have anything wrong with it. I just think it's wild that Hunter would have three pets. I just think it's there. the capybara looks adorable. So yeah, it's a I good model. Um, one thing I want to point out that I don't think anybody else has pointed out. Is this the Artie Zoo? Why are there toucans? Where are we in this uh, in this gif? There are not toucans in the game right now. Oh, which which gif are you looking at? Uh, Skylark's one. Oh, the the first one, mod Skylark. There are two cans uh, in the background. Yeah. This is not Artie Zoo. This is Artie Zoo. I don't think there's two cans in Artie Zoo. Am I going crazy? I just looked up two can on you, the RuneScape wiki. It's a non-existent thing. You're not going crazy. This is a a new expansion to the Artie Zoo area. Well, I want to know more about these two cans. Give me a two can pet. Hello. Who gives a shit about capybaras? Any more bird pets? Yeah, um, I would like uh, more toucans. I was just scrolling through the uh, the Twitter replies, and someone named Toucan replied, "I want him" with a very blurry, zoomed-in <laughs> picture of one of the toucans. I completely agree with that person. Yeah, I think this is Artie Zoo, though, based on what people are it, saying. It looks like Artie Zoo, but. Yeah. It might just be using the assets from Artie Zoo and isn't actually Artie Zoo. Hard to say. Um, but if it's just an expansion to Artie Zoo, cool. Whatever. Yeah. That's fine. I just want the toucans. Because mm -hmm. there's also um, puffins in uh, on uh, the island where you get the barrel chest anchor, wherever that island is. Harmony Island, I think. Yeah. Um. There's puffins on that island, and I want there, one. Actually, yeah. Puffin OSRS. Oh my god, there are. They're adorable, and I want one. I don't know where I'd get it from, but I want it. Huh. They're just they're good little guys. I like them. So the puffins on the island have the examine test. I'd prefer if it were a muffin but this is an unused version that has the examine text it's rocking out both of those are based Just, uh, thought i'd give you that little tidbit of information i also wouldn't prefer that it's a muffin i like the puffin more 
I agree. Although poppy seed muffins, they do slap. I love getting drugged up on poppy seed muffins. Hell yeah. Anyways, uh, Mod Jerv. I hate these. Has You hate it? I hate them. Uh, Mod Skylarker also posted uh, a, a rendering of it if you scroll down. I can't find it. <laughs> I... It's below the wilderness thing. Oh, did you post it in... Four, 425 broadcasting. Oh, there they are. At 949. Oh, wow, I hate that even more now. The RuneCraft one is disgusting, in my opinion. I do not like it. Uh, I oh, really, uh, really here's another like one it. from Mod Hend. Oh, Quizmaster, let's go. Yeah, that one looks okay. I don't know. Um, I'd prefer they took the route of forestry on this one, um, where forestry you can just like have an item in your inventory that gives you the set effect of the uh, the stuff, or like a, a, an item that can be equipped that gives you that set effect, and then you can just wear graceful. Cause I. Yeah. really don't like the way these look. I the hat. I don't know the, the hat, especially for the RuneCraft one. I think is disgusting. It is awful. Yeah, I can I can agree with that. And the what what's going on with those legs? It's like trying to imitate the robe bottoms a little bit and colors like the inside of your thighs. It looks like, but that's it. I don't know. Isn't man. that what graceful kind of does? Uh, Doesn't graceful color like your crotch? Yes, but. This looks extra weird because you've got like, I don't know. It's got like the, the it's split. The, it's the same thing. area colored. It looks bad. I don't care. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Um, I really, really do not like it. I would prefer that they just make it so I can either have Graceful equipped or have the RuneCraft outfit equipped. Because I really like the way the RuneCraft outfit looks, actually. Um, I think it looks awesome. Um, and this yeah. is just a direct downgrade, in my opinion. Cool idea. Um, I ca I'm kind of okay with the farming and smithing ones, but once again, I think I'd rather just wear one outfit or the other and be able to gain the benefits of both. These like merge looks, I don't think are necessary. Still look kind of cool though. It's a cool idea. That's what these game gems are all about. You know, not everybody's gonna like yeah. the stuff that comes out of them. The, um, my problem don't with have them to. is you would just always wear the combined outfit instead yeah. of the and then individual also, version of whatever. Here's another problem. How many f***ing sets of Graceful do I need to get now to be able to yeah. like wear these all the time? Do I have to switch out? Like, oh, now I want to go on a farm run. Time to s remove my smithing outfit from my Graceful and instead imbue my farming outfit in there. It sounds like a pain. Yeah. Yeah, I can agree with that. But, like I said, Plus, it's not a problem that they came up with this idea i'm just sharing my opinion yeah. it's a cool idea and it's a it's a unique yeah. look but i mean there's definitely the problem that exists in game of you wear graceful everywhere and they're trying to solve that so yeah i i think i just don't think this is the right way to solve it i think the like i said earlier the strategy of forestry where you, you can like put your your wood cutting outfit into a thing and then have that worn somewhere maybe in the ammo slot or the cape slot or something. I think that's a much a much better solution to being able to wear whatever you want. Yeah. Um, we're gonna skip mod rocks until later, uh, because that relates to the first one. I think we're gonna talk about that one last. Okay. Um, what is mod this, goblin? What is this drawing that you linked from Sarni? Uh. The which one? The whiteboard drawing. Why do I have this open? What is this? Is this even That's fun? mod rock, isn't it? The whiteboard one. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, I know, what, I know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> the mod Sarni one. Uh, that's a. I think it's supposed to be a rat. Uh, rat king. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? That's the one that didn't embed properly, right? Okay. Yeah, I, I literally just clicked on all the links to open them, so I have them all open in a, a browser, and I'm just closing them as we talk about them. Yeah, no, I think it's a Rat King. I think you're right. <laughs> and it's on screen right now for the video people, and you have been blessed by this drawing. It is really... <laughs> it's something. Uh, I'm for glad they're having a good time. For those what a Rat King is, by the way, uh, I would not recommend putting it on screen. No, uh, I will probably... Uh, but... I, I know of a couple like artistic renditions that are like not super 
effed up, but yeah, I might put one of those on the so, screen. So, a rat king is a fantastical idea that rats in very dirty conditions will uh, tangle their tails up in a way that they will literally get stuck together and will die and form this like horrific massive rat tail and rats um they're not real uh, uh, actually they kind of are but not to they aren't. not to the scale of like the way people talk about them um, um i have seen the equivalent of a rat king but with squirrels okay squirrel kings are specifically mentioned on the Wikipedia page for it as like a thing that can exist. Very um, interesting. But as far as I'm aware, rat kings aren't actually a thing that can happen. I'll believe it. I'll probably do research when I edit the episode, but right now I'm just going to take your word for it. Um, Because like rats, although people think are very gross, they tend to keep themselves very clean. Because if they're dirty and, you know, covered in gunk and they, 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 if they're so filthy that they would get stuck together, they probably wouldn't be able to live long anyways. They, they're probably going to die from other causes before their tails get caught together. But anyways, um, let's move on to uh, Mod this? Goblin's Wilderness thing. What is this wilderness thing? I don't know anything about this so there's so many like circles and arrows and letters what's going mm -hmm. on here so uh he has like a whole uh wilderness he's he's been working with mod manked on this a bunch of wildy focused content and trying to overhaul the wilderness to make more sense for like how things work and like make you actually want to do the content in the wilderness um and so he has if you open up the tweet and you scroll down he has like a whole explanation um they want to like overhaul a bunch of systems and add new loot to different areas um and like buff different things uh, so you can see they want to buff like scorpia's loot and the chaos fanat or chaos elemental um buff the thieving area um and just like ma make doing like the things you don't normally want to do in the wilderness uh a bit more like have more incentive to do that um, i'd love to see the the one that speaks to me immediately is a, a thieving rework for the the rogues den or whatever that place is no the rogues den is the thing mm -hmm. in berthorp this is like the whatever that place out is out there the rogue's castle rogue's castle yes i'd love to see that be like a real piece of content because it's kind of just nothing right now it's an area you yeah. go to find vigora if you have are unlucky and it's an area you go for clue steps that's about it yeah and there's also some like ideas out here like uh wilderness only clues so clues that probably have <laughs> only wildy steps that'd be kind of cool sorry i'm giggling at uh i just noticed he circled the callisto cave entrance and it says do less damage please <laughs> yeah for those of you that don't bugged. know there's currently a bug in the game where uh callisto can just hit you multiple times per attack for no reason so you can just take like eight damage three times yeah, it's, it's annoying it's very bad um i'm glad they're aware of it i mean i'm I'd assume that they were aware of it, but it's kind of funny to see him doing that. Um, team focus loot buff. I see that put there. Um, I'm sure they have an increased explanation on it, but um, that seems... he doesn't ex he doesn't go into exactly what it is. That seems a little weird to me because, as far as I can tell, doing bully bosses in team is like fine right now. It's pretty good money right now and really good loot uh, elites per hour. So yeah, like Snoop. Uh, in uh, one of the discords we're in, uh, he has been doing. Uh, there's like a a 22k total worlds, um, or 2.2k total rather, not 22k. You knew what I meant. Um, 2.2k yeah. total worlds. Uh, they just do like a Callisto mass, and 
the boss just like dies instantly and apparently it's like pretty good elite clues i think it says like i think they said it's like two elites an hour which is really really good for elites and then also you just get callisto loot so i think i think right now though if you do the boss solo it's better gp per hour then if you do it doesn't doing those bosses solo kind of suck a lot callisto does the other two are fine i've heard spindle kind of suck or uh, Venonatus kind of sucks, and uh, Vedion's pretty fine solo. Vedion is way better solo. I um, think Vedion's best in like teams of two or three, one to three players. When once you start getting beyond that, it starts getting a little fucky. Yeah, with um, with Venonatus, there's too many spiderlings that spawn. That's kind of annoying to deal with. Uh, there's like strats with uh dens and stuff to deal with it but it's annoying but yeah, you were talking I, I, don't, about, I don't know you were talking I'm about sure. wilderness only clues let's go back to that um yeah my curiosity i don't know if he has it written down um are these like versions of x rarity clue that can that only have wilderness i think steps? it's a whole new or, tier yeah, okay this clue. is a new tier of clue i'm fine with that that sounds cool yeah I'd love to see a new tier of clue, and then I'd love to see it contain like some cool uniques that are like ornament kits for like PK and gear, common PK stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool. I've always, I've always yeah. wanted them to add an MSB ornament kit <laughs> <laughs> because the MSB is Have pretty, like it's a... pretty notable for a lot of different PKing. So even PVM content, yeah, it's it, best it would just, slaughter Toa. Yeah, it would just be kind of funny to have an msb ornament kit that you could throw on the msb and it's imbued variant i don't Make know what it, it would look, look like, like a jagged dagger or something yeah like just something that's like kind of rusted and mangled maybe are you thinking dds because i said msb i am thinking yeah i am thinking dds yeah dds is actually uh, getting an ornament kit with uh um bounty hunter the corrupted version why would you go along with me when i said msb is usable or best in slide killer. I started realizing that you were thinking DDS when you said that and then was, you said dagger immediately that... afterwards and I was like, hang on a second here. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Uh, uh yeah, an MSB ornament kit would be interesting. Um That was one of the ones uh when they did the survey for um uh Bounty Hunter, they were like, What other weapons would you like to see an ornament kit for? And I was like, it'd be funny if there's an MSB ornament kit. It's it's very useful in the mid game, and then I know in a lot of uh, PvP content for like a lot of a lot of different kinds of peers, they just use an MSB. Yeah, and they, then also the MSB BA. <laughs> is yeah, it's it's it was best in slot at BA, no longer still very good all at praise. BA. All all praise Venator Bow, but yeah, it's still very good at uh, BA. Yeah, I'm. I would like to see uh, some more PvP focused ornament kits. I think they could do some cool stuff with that. Um, and they could also add in some like some other uh, like PvP focused cosmetics. Maybe doesn't have to be like uh, like anything that you'd actually use, but like maybe you know. Stuff similar to like the Cape of Skulls, where it's just kind of like a PvP sort of flex item. Maybe we get uh, um, buildy weapon ornaments. That'd be kind of weird though, because mm. the augmented buildy weapons exist. I don't know how that would work. Yeah, I don't think they can really ornament kit those. They already look pretty uh, kitted out, you know. Yeah, they're very fancy looking. But maybe maybe an avarice ornament kit that would be the most pointless thing of all time because with an avarice you skull up and you're already just risking everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. It'd be a funny troll item, honestly, just to have in there. And you get it, and you're just like, "What's the point of this?" I know they love adding <laughs> stupid garbage items like that, where it's like, "Why yeah. did you do this?" <laughs> I mean, they could also like just like you know, there's the climbing boots G, uh. They could have that on the table because, you know, 
it's not worth a lot of money, but yeah, it's uh, could, something that's used in PvP. They could just make it so that a couple of the art pre-existing clue item uniques just come from there. As long as it's like the yeah. easy through hard tiers, I think once we start getting into the elite and masters, depending on the difficulty of these steps, which I, I doubt will be extraordinarily difficult because it's locked specifically to the wilderness. But yeah, I think throwing anything from the easy to hard tier uniques into there would be fine. As long as it was thematic, as long as it made some sense at all. Mm-hmm. And then obviously, yeah, you, you could... know, the easy, you can throw blighted items in there. Oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. That's a that's an easy shout. Just blighted items. You can get like basically everything that's on the the wilderness slayer drop table uh, when you're doing it in the cave. Just like the the LMS type table. Just throw that in there for fun. There's plenty mm-hmm. of stuff they could throw in those caskets to make them worth going for. Be cool. He I like clues. So I, I wish he like gave more details because he has like this whole like he posts a screenshot of a table of contents. That obviously there's like a bunch of pages of stuff, but he doesn't actually post it. So, hey, editing Sparry here. Uh, it's posted somewhere. I don't know where, but I've seen people talking about like the specifics of the post. So, uh, I'm just dumb and can't find it. Yeah. Do you know? Any- does he say anything about this Trover rework? What does that mean? Um, he. Uh, has overview, design goals, design slash uh, ideation, mangled, and repair cost rebalancing. So, mm. I don't know. Yeah, I I have complained many times that uh, untradeable items just getting deleted beyond, what is it, 30 wilderness? Or is it 20? Yeah, 30. Um, It's just such a weird mechanic. Or no, it's 20? Yeah, I think it's 20. Um, yeah, I think so. It's some line. Uh, the 30s, the teleport line. I think 20s, the loot line. Um, uh, well, 20, you can teleport. 20, you can use any teleport. Past... 30, you can use yeah. specific teleports. Also a really fucking weird system. <laughs> um, a lot of weird inconsistencies like that that have always just bugged me, but I've just never understood the untradeable thing. Um, yeah. A, a like a mangled slash broken rework i think would definitely be cool yeah i think maybe instead of it deleting your trover parchment you just had to pay a fee to re yeah, trover it trover parchments have always just felt like a band-aid fix i'd love to see them mm-hmm. instead make an actual mechanic out of it because like it yeah. already works in pvp worlds i think that if you would lose on tradables they just become broken versions well, that's because and pay money. nowhere Nowhere besides wilderness, of course, in PvP worlds is uh, considered above 30 wilderness. Yeah. So, I don't understand why they don't just make that the rule when you're beyond the whatever 20 or 30 wilderness line. It just breaks like it does in PvP. That would seem fair. And drops whatever GP that you would have to sink instead. I don't know. I'd, I'd yeah. love to see that. Um, pretty good ideas. Uh. All the wildy slayer buffs, like loot buffs at, at all these like specific locations. Um, probably good, but from what I've heard, wildy slayer is already like pretty good. But maybe those tasks in particular kind of suck. It's probably well, what it is. Yeah. It's like the areas that are outlined are like the areas you don't usually want to go to. Um the only place you want to do wilderness slayer is in the wildy slayer boss cave and which is still highlighted for improvements yeah uh and then the uh the revs of course but yeah notably he does not touch revs and that's probably a good thing i think revs are in an okay spot right now yeah i don't really interact with that content too much so i'm not totally sure but i mean i'm in contact with a couple of people that um interact with that content and from what i can gather from them it's not perfect by any means there's very few things in this game that are but i think it's in an okay place from what i can gather yeah um let's move on to the next one uh now we can go back to mod rock's first post there um or wait no we sorry i'm skipping around uh we have mod eds uh this you were asking me about this earlier. <laughs> Pog, yeah. 
Uh, this is the... I have already forgot what POG stands for. It's something of Glaufrey. Yeah, Path, I think. What I said? Path of Glaufrey, I think. Yeah. It, it's that weird Eyes of Glaufrey quest, but the second one. I don't really know what's going on with this. You haven't done the quest in RS2. I never did it. No. So. And I think we diverge in our storyline, right? Because of Monkey Madness 2? Because we he's dead. Maybe. We killed Does Glaufrey. he die in RS3? I, I don't know. I have no idea. He probably does, but maybe he doesn't. So at this point, you know, there's a chance that we've diverged from that lore and this is like going to be mostly the same, but maybe a little different. Maybe it's supposed to be like revealing of like, oh, we already killed him, but here's some stuff that he left behind. Ooh, I don't know. Is the Eyes of Glaufrey about Gloff though? Not, I thought it was about like... Not really. I don't think. Yeah. Um, he's involved in the quest, but I don't think it's particularly about him. Yeah, you don't actually it's interact with about, him at all. Well, he interacts with you, but you never interact with him. Um, Gloff? Yeah. In that quest? No, you talk to Brimstale. Yeah, but he's he's like going around invisibly f- with you during the quest. Oh, I don't remember that. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. He... Uh, the the eyes of Glaufrey, of course, is in reference to the all the cute creatures that you kill, um, because they're actually mm. the eyes of Glaufrey. He's using them to spy on everyone. Um, it's been so long since I've done the quest. During the quest, he's invisible. There's like a cutscene where you can see that he's invisible, and he breaks the machine that you have to fix. I see. If I remember correctly. Okay. So he is involved. So. I don't know how this one goes over in RS3. I think at this point we should just move on because we don't have really much to add. More quests is always a good thing, though. Yeah. I like quests. Um, Mod Husky has a cool interface for a completion escape, Ooh. which is something that we'll talk about in a bit. Yeah, but that the interface one's rough, itself looks good. The interface very nice. is clean. Um, even if this just becomes like a new, uh, you know, progress account overview thing i'm down for it looks nice the current yeah. the current one in game the the brown quest tab already looks pretty good and this is basically just an expanded version of that looks nice um yeah i don't really have too much to add to that it was a skylark post yeah uh a lot of really cool models well, this is coming. slayer this is the Slayer thing. From Mod Skylark. Yeah, so we can go back to the Mod Rock thing at the beginning. I looked um, at I looked at this image, and I was like, what's going on? For audio listeners, it's like, apparently these are uh, group Slayer masters that I'm looking at. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're like wearing red and black. And I, I was like, is this some bounty hunter stuff? No, apparently this is, this is a group Slayer. Very interesting. Yeah. So it's a remake of Partner Slayer with a specific Slayer Master to kind of uh, patch some of the issues that uh, Group Slayer had uh, involving uh, cheesing which Slayer tasks you would get. Um, and you can do uh, a group up to five players uh, and you can share Slayer tasks with them. And presumably... Uh, there's going to be ways to make it so you can't cheese which Slayer tasks you get with them. Um, Mod Rock in the replies mentions that there's not going to be a block list or anything. So, um, you're going to have to, like, deal with uh, whatever tasks you get as a group without any way to, like, circumvent that yeah i'm gonna be straightforward honestly this is a piece of content that very many people are going to interact with i'm sure it would be kind of fun uh similarly to group iron you know there's there's certain people that just want to hang out um as a group iron man i originally created it because i thought the idea of being an iron man with a couple of my friends would be fun uh but as it turns out my friends don't care about me and for the most part i'm just a regular iron man um smile so that's whatever and i see this as probably being kind of the same thing. You'll probably interact with it a few times, and you'll be like, wow, this isn't worth my time. I'm just going to do Slayer on my own. 
Um, That's my immediate pessimistic the, take, but so I'd love to be proved wrong. Here's something, yeah, here's something that might make that more optimistic. If you look at the sticky note um, posts that I said not to look at earlier, uh, those are some of the rewards or like ideas they want to play with um, for group Slayer. So new Slayer Helms, they have a picture of like a Blood Veld and a... So you'd get group Slayer, Slayer points Helm. specifically from group Slayer and you'd have to get these from group Slayer? I don't know if you get group Slayer points. You might. Because that um, seems like a very shoehorn method of getting me to do this. I'm going to be honest. That's fair. Uh, But some of the things are cool, like new cosmetics, uh, group Slayer only areas... In the replies, he also mentions, like, group superiors. So if one player gets a superior, then it's, like, a, a special kind of mob that all the players have to fight together. You know, it, it spawns, like, a mini boss, That's basically. That's kind of cool idea. Uh, you can unlock raids as a Slayer task, but you cannot use your Slayer Helm for it. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, I'm just going to do raids anyways, so... And I already just yeah. want to do those with my friends. I guess I get Slayer XP from doing those now. Kind of cool. But that's definitely not a... I don't know. I think it could be a lot of fun. Just like, you know, me and yeah, the boys I mean, bashing up some the thing, right? for I'm, a while. I'm always for, you know, group content. I, especially as an Iron Man, I, I actually really like... Um, I like the Iron Man gameplay loop. But I still really enjoy doing content with my friends. So... The the recent Wildy Boss changes and necks and raids are all really cool to me. I like that as Iron Man, if you're an Iron Man, you still have to put in all your own work and you get your own drops, but you can participate with other players that are not or are other Iron Man. Um, I think it's a really fun gameplay loop. It puts the massively multiplayer back in MMO. Uh, I guess also on mm. well, no the online part doesn't is is still in the game. You have to connect to the internet, but. Uh, yeah, it puts the M's back in MMO, and I really like that. I like interacting with people. I like gaming with my friends. So it's not something I'm particularly against. It's just something that I immediately see as I don't know if this is going to be worth my time. But if it's fun, it is worth my time. So if they can make it fun, I'm down. Yeah, I think they could make it fun. Uh, they have to put some. Some quality dev time into it, but I think they could. Yeah, really this seems make like something that would need a, a lot of careful thought and consideration, um, and a lot of dev time for these these like Slayer, uh, multi man superiors. Sounds like something you'd need to put some decent thought into. Um, what is this comment about combinable silver bracelets? Does he ex expand on that or? Uh, yeah, it's the um. The slaughter and the... Okay, but why would you combine uh, them? They do opposite things. Well, no, 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 no. So you could have, like, more than however many charges they normally carry. Oh, it, that's it would be like what a, they mean. Like a, a suffering kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. That I'm down for. I've always wanted them to do that with, uh, like, every piece of jewelry that exists that has charges. The The suffering is an awesome item. Um, and I think being a Zenite, it is, like, actually worthy of being a Zenite. Um, considering that it's a recoil and also the stats it gives. Um, mm -hmm. But I've always wanted to see, uh, you know, the silver bracelets. I don't use them super often. Um, I've only started actually using them recently because I remembered that they existed. Uh, but being yeah, able to... they're pretty good. They are, they're very, very useful. Um, and not having to bring multiple would be nice. Uh, for skilling, I've always wanted... Uh, one one buff for the uh, Herblore Cape I've always wanted is turning the Herblore Cape into, like, a suffering for the... Uh, uh, amulets of chemistry but if that was just oh, that'd be really nice if that was just an item that would be even better if it wasn't the herblore cape if it was just an item that you can get uh same with yeah. uh binding necklaces i'd love to see one for binding necklaces these like condensed versions that are expensive don't get me wrong i want them to be you know not just free because these quality of life upgrades should be like you know substantial to some degree um but it should be worth mm -hmm. it um and i i like that so I'm down for that. I When I saw that, I was like, combinable silver bracelets? You can combine the two? Why would you do that? They're the opposite of each other. But that makes no, a lot no, more no. sense. Yeah. Um, and, and if you scroll down as well, there's the uh, uh, 
the dragon hunter crossbow yeah i saw that uh, with the hydra helm a lot of people hydra, were, uh, I, I heard i've heard people saying that that's stupid because the hydra isn't a dragon um and while that is funny it still looks sick so well i mean they say haha hydra's not a dragon the lance works against it so yeah that is true that's that's a good point actually um, but RuneScape doesn't care if it's not a true they're hydra- dragon. They're hi- they're dragon adjacent. They're close enough. They're yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I think I it was gonna cool. say they're they're dragon kin, but that's an actual thing in this game. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I think that looks that looks sick. Um, yeah. If it can change colors to all the different forms of hydra, that's even cooler. That would be very cool. Um, I want RGB crossbow. I want to. I want to be able to make it so every time I shoot it, it changes color. <laughs> uh, so you said you don't like the the completion escape design? No, uh, not the design. I just don't like the completion escape. I don't care what mm. they do. I just don't think it'll be good enough ever. That fair? I don't think you will ever reach a conclusion that will make everybody happy, and I just don't think it's worth bothering. It, it yeah. looks awesome, uh, don't get me fair. wrong, but it is such a point of contention in this game to define completion of this game. Yeah, if you go to that post, it's just people like exactly. arguing what completionist is. Exactly. There's no middle ground you could ever take. No one will ever, like, I doubt you could ever satisfy anybody. It's just, it's not going to work. I'd love to see it in the game. They look really cool. Um... But I I doubt that I would even be happy with the solution that they settle on. Yeah, that's fair. Um, it, it's always been a point of contention. Uh, whenever anybody starts talking about it, and yeah, clearly a lot it of hasn't squabbling changed. over like collection log slots too. Yeah, like that's that's personally when I think of completion of the game, I always say that old school RuneScape has not been completed, and probably I mean maybe eventually at one point someone will complete it. Maybe someone will eventually so. complete the collection log. The, the, but even if they the do, amount of hours guess what? To the game's still going. Alone is insane. Even if you complete the collection log within like a month, you're gonna need to do more stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, RuneScape is old school, and even RS3 probably more RS3 because there's just so much stuff in RS3 are just uncompletable games. And I think creating a cape that's like, hey, look, I completed it is just never going to be something that people can agree on. Once again, these look sick. Yeah. I'd love to see them add these to the game if, and also make it so you can recolor them like you can in RS3 because I love that mechanic. That's so cool. If you... Uh, they, they said specifically they they can't do the recolors and they stuff. They could. I don't believe them, but it would just be so much work and it probably be, wouldn't be worth their time. It would probably be a bunch of engine work. Yeah, it would probably be way more wor- work than it's worth is what they mean by they can't um so if someone had a gun to your head and said you had to you had to come up with the requirements for a completion escape you have to complete the collection log you 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 would make him complete the collection log i'd make you do it okay i'd make you get 99 you don't know okay you have to get 200 mil in every skill you have to complete the collection log uh let's see yeah obviously you have to have every quest and every diary done um, you have to have a, you have to be a grandmaster combat achievements. Um, you need uh, the best time in every uh, quest speed run. Um, like you need to complete the game. I'm sorry, <laughs> that's that's yeah. my opinion. You, you got to be done, done. So I wouldn't be as cruel as you. The, obviously, yeah, I, no, I, let me make this very clear. I don't think that's realistic. I don't think that's going to be added to the game ever. But if I had a mm. gun to my head and I had to decide. That's what I'd do. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I think I would do, you know, obviously all quests, all uh achievement diaries, all combat tasks. Um you need, you know, trimmed music cape. Uh oh, yeah, I didn't even mention I think music, you need you know, to music. green log everything except for the rare uh, treasure trails. I think everything needs to be green log. So you need a green log LMS. Yeah. You gotta win a thousand games for that. Oh yeah, that's fine. Right. Just make sure you remembered. 
you also have to do like a thousand of each raid. Yep. Yeah, and plus you know, I, CMs and I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that's like obviously my proposal's pretty fucked up. But that isn't that much less. <laughs> no, you're right. And, <laughs> you know, there's probably only a, a dozen or or so players that are even close, close to, that. to that. Yeah. Which is yeah. why I just no matter what they do with completionist cape, it's never gonna feel like enough unless they go yeah. nuclear like my like what I just said, where they just go full nuclear, you've gotta win the game. And honestly, I'd be okay if that was in the game. <laughs> um because I would never get it, right? But if I had this completion screen and it had like literally everything you had to do to every complete, it would just be fun to look at and see my progress over time, you know? It's yeah. a thing that the, I'll never uh, finish, but it's just kind of fun to look at. So the player with the most collection log slots in the game, uh, Basilegis, I, I think that, that's probably not how that's pronounced. He has every boss green logged except for Nightmare's Mace. He has every raid drop except for uh the you know one thousand raids and also the ward from t o a he has funny. three stabs uh the all the pet recolors plus the pet and a bunch of other stuff Dude, but no ward. the pet recolors is an r n g so yeah. This guy's uh, clearly pretty good at the game, so... Beginner, easy, medium, and hard clues done, but not elite or masters. Um, Understandable. Every mini game completed, and nice. everything in the other tab, except for the random events, where he is missing the stale baguette. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he voted yes to make the stale baguette more easy to obtain, or if he voted no. I'd be curious to Maybe. know what he voted. Because I voted yeah, no Casey, because I'm I think because is in a pretty as, similar situation. As explained earlier, I'm kind of an asshole, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, this this topic is just it's always been a point of contention, and I just don't think that there's a good solution. And I think probably we should just avoid adding it to the game personally. Oh my god, poor Casey! Six thousand three hundred fifty easy clues done, and he does not have it green logged because he's missing mo- monk robes G. Both of them. Or just the uh, just just the bottom. That's funny. Rough. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this should get out of the game. It's cool. It's cool that they're experimenting with it. I'd love to see an interface like the the completion interface. Um. Mm-hmm. But I just don't think any. I don't. I just don't think people are going to be satisfied the complete with the completion escape, no matter how it's released. Yeah, I mean. You know, with what I suggested, literally no one would have it yet, so... Yeah. It's just... It feels like a um, reward for an achievement that's fake. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw the JMod that suggested it saying, like, a percentage based on the collection log. It was, like, 90% or something. Um, but that's not completion. Yeah, it's not complete, so... How are you giving them a reward for completing it when it's not done? I mean, it RS3 just doesn't make sense has a, a completionist thing, and it's not... Yeah, and not, I think it's terrible. You know. I've read it. I've read the, the the wiki page on it multiple times, and I think it's awful. Oh, my Discord crashed. I'll be back. Nice. Welcome back to the podcast, except just with bird facts, and only for, like, a couple seconds while Spari comes back. Um, All right. That part of the podcast is now over. Spari's back. Hey, I'm back. Um, yeah, I think, yeah so... I think we've spoken our part on this. I think we should move on. <laughs> Fair. Unless you have anything else uh, to say. But we're just going to talk in circles. Mod Lenny with the most important post here. Sitting. Yeah, this is... Box. I actually hadn't seen this yet. This is big. This is important. This <laughs> needs to be in the game yeah. immediately. I don't care if it's just cosmetic. Add it now. Yeah, you can already do it cosmetically with a plugin. Yeah, but it replaces it the spin work. emote, and I hate that. It's true. Yeah, but you can see other players that do it, so that's cool. Yeah, but just put it but... in the game. This should be an yeah, this should it, be an integrity it... change. This should just be in the game. Absolutely. Um, 
I personally think that it would be fine if resting was added back to the game, where you could just right-click your run thing and hit rest, and your run regenerates slightly faster while sitting. I personally mm-hmm. don't think that has any terrible balance implications. Maybe I'm not thinking hard enough, but as long as you're not in combat, you should just be able to sit down and get your run energy back a little bit faster. Yeah, I think so too. I I but remember even when if, they even added if it doesn't like, do that, resting. Just add sitting. Just let me sit. What's the problem? Yeah, I I when I played WoW for like RP reasons, if we were in the middle of like a raid or not raid, but like a dungeon, I would uh slash sit. Yeah, just because I was like, yep, we're you know we're not doing anything. Slash yeah. sit when you're chilling out in Destiny Two. You just you just put on an emote when you're waiting. This is, I mean, mm-hmm. you know, and it would be cool if, similarly to the, uh, um, the plugin that currently lets you rest, you can like switch which resting animation you use. Because I want to be able yeah. to use the, uh, you probably wouldn't be able to do this, but I want to be able to use the sleeping one from the uh, the rest spell in the lunar spellbook. Because mm-hmm. I I love mm-hmm. that animation. Uh, Dream is the spell. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's a good animation. And it's also just funny because it's like if your friend goes AFK and you're waiting for him, you can just absolutely hit him with a me 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 me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I uh, I I I really like that uh that animation a lot. So yeah, this should just be in the game. No questions asked. Put it in. Mm-hmm. And that's a uh, that's the last thing we had so far on the game jam. Yeah, and uh, we're... I'm sure. In a couple of weeks, we'll have like more fleshed out stuff posted. They they usually do like a big news post, kind of with all the ideas in it. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't seen anything about the uh, Tasa Call Trials or whatever it was from the last game gem. The like hard content uh, thing. I I think that's coming. Oh, is in it? the next year? Ooh. I think so. Well, if by coming you mean it's going to be pulled, then you're probably right because that hasn't been pulled. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'd love to see that in the game. So I, I was hoping to see more of that because um, it sounded cool. I like hard content. I like learning, like I said earlier, in this yeah. podcast. So I'm down for that. Yeah. But I think that just uh, about does it for uh, our episode today. Uh, make sure you uh, you follow the podcast and you give it a, a, a thumbs up or like, a like. Like, comment, or subscribe, whatever. baby. Ring that bell. Hit that bell button. Woo! Mm-hmm. Uh, you can follow us on, uh, Twitter at Guthics rest pod, uh, where I will occasionally tweet, uh, nonsense or retweet runescape related stuff. You can I also want... follow my personal Twitter. <laughs> I want to get to the point. I know it's, it's a long ways off. I think you need like a thousand subscribers, but I want to be able to post on the community tab on, uh, uh, YouTube. And I want to be able to mm-hmm. just like fight you, where you're you have control of the the Twitter account, but I have control of the the YouTube community tab, and we just start giving okay. conflicting information for no reason, <laughs> just just to cause chaos, just just to cause chaos. Okay, you know, sure. Not I, I have control of the 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 Spotify feed, so I can. It's true. I, I have a bit more chaos. I, I just I just want to be able to cause chaos with the, the YouTube thing. I think being able to have the community tab would be hilarious. But that's a long ways off. Anyways. Um yeah, you can follow me on my personal Twitter at a guy named Spari, and you can follow Bird on Twitter at BirdFaxR. Uh we both don't really tweet on our Twitter accounts too much, but you can do that if you'd like. Uh, you can also uh, subscribe to us on Patreon at patreon.com slash gothicsrest, where we post all of the uh, uncensored versions, and usually a couple hours or even a full day before uh, the censored version goes live. Uh, we also have a Kofi at uh, ko-fi slash gothicsrest, where you can give a one-time donation if that's uh, more your deal fuel my caffeine addiction and also help us buy better audio equipment and i think that's it for plugs yeah if it isn't uh the link tree is somewhere and all of our everything is there so just go there if you're looking for us mm-hmm. somewhere and if it's not there we're not there yep um 
uh, just a reminder, we will probably not have an episode next week. Um, so keep that in mind. And have a good one, everyone. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye.